Now we all know that Belize is a tropical country with lots of its wildlife, adventure and hundreds of beautiful islands just sitting there like jewels along the length of the barrier reef as the second largest barrier reef in the world and is famous for its varied animals, crystal clear waters and ancient ruins. You'll find a wide range of white sand beaches and palm trees making that perfect setting for snorkeling, scuba diving, fishing and sailing. It could definitely be enchanting for potential retirees, especially Especially when that climate is frost free and you have that lure of the tropical breezes while you take those long walks along the beach. And I can definitely go on with the pros, a lot of them yes, but you clicked on this vlog to hear about the cons and yes there are many of those as well and which country doesn't. But when researching a country you always want to hear both sides, the pros and the cons, especially if you're planning on moving there. So let's jump into the 15 best reasons not to retire to Belize starting now. Number 15. Time is looked at differently. Now the importance of time is felt very different compared to what you might be used to experiencing back home. When you need to get something done like a car repair, you'll need to start budgeting a lot of extra time for any services that you need. And this includes the government things as well because the delays will happen. You'll hear about the delays that people complain about from many where instead of telling you a firm no, most people will tell you either possibly or maybe when you have a request. Now it could be a frustrating experience if you don't expect it would happen. Number 14. No financial privacy when retired. Now let's say you become a qualified retiree. The government actually requires that you submit your annual bank statement that shows that you are in compliance with your financial requirements. Some might feel that it's an intrusive way to see how much money you have. Now if you have a family here as an example, they will know that you have a tax advantage of tax-free items into the country with this government aided status. If you want to have that vehicle, an appliance or various electronics for your retirement then you'll want to take advantage of that tax-free imports benefit. Number 13. Cultural changes in retirement. Now there's always going to be that cultural shock no matter where you go in the world. Customs, traditions and behaviors differ from the standards in your own country. If you're North American or European you'll be used to all the entertainment from where you're from but you'll find once in Belize there are going to be cultural limitations like theater and opera if you're into that kind of stuff. You'll be out instead on a tour of the history of the region and its archaeological sites and maybe you might not care much or go only once. A dancing on the beach is another, a welcome pastime that always has an open invitation but only if you like dancing. Number 12. Shopping for stuff. You'll find that services in Belize are not always available. There's very little infrastructure and limited services and amenities. There's less goals on that immediate gratification from consumerism in Belize and it's a simpler life. You'll be focused more on what you'll need to get through each day but you might not have options to get supplies for that hobby of yours. There are no big department stores and you'll need to hop from one small shop to another. You'll even find things in unusual places like gasoline stations where you might find a type of underwear you want or get that car insurance at an auto parts store or your cell phone service from where you're staying at. You'll need to double check some of the items you buy as well. You might not get all of the pineapple pieces in your canned goods when you open it or you might get green peas instead of corn. Apparently happens from products from the United States. Number 11. Nature could be annoying. You may like nature but every morning you might hear an orchestra of birds and it may be noisy. A rude awakening for some from around 4.30 a.m. to 5.30 a.m. when the sun rises. And bugs are a part of life here as well, especially in your home. It's the tropics after all. You'll see a sea of ants all over your storage area to feast there but they aren't all that bad. There are some good ants as well that clean out spider webs, mites and some might see them as helpful. Number 10. Roads are bad. Now there are only four highways in the country so you'll need to assume that every other road is either gravel or dirt. That means driving is challenging even in the best of circumstances. The roads are generally not in great condition and in most cases it actually ruins your vehicle and shortens their lives. And you also find that there's salt corrosion as well with your vehicle being near the sea. You also find that gasoline is higher than the US, around $5 a gallon and there are fewer traffic lights, lots of roundabouts that 
major junctions and sleeping police officers on duty where they don't really patrol so you don't have to worry about them pulling you over for speeding on the highway. It's just bumpy everywhere anyways. Just make sure you have your car insurance. It's actually recommended you buy the more expensive four wheel drive vehicles because most of the roads are dirt. But if you buy too large of a 4x4, you might not be able to drive around in town because the roads are so narrow. Now you might be thinking you'll be taking the taxis, but majority of them aren't metered and fares are highly negotiable. But the public transportation system is generally safe, but you might be surprised that sitting next to you might be a creative chickens. And don't rule out the bicycles and small engine motorcycles as well. They are one of the most popular means of transportation in Belize. Just make sure they are very well maintained. Number 9. Humidity. Here's a new word for you from Belize. Humidix. It's actually the combination of heat and humidity because you'll be getting a lot of it. You'll need to really get used to it, especially if you're older, because it'll be a non-stop natural occurrence every single day. To prevent it, you can even spend those extra hundreds of dollars a month so you can live in a cement block home with glass windows with the AC ripped up high to avoid it. Belize exists in a subtropical climate, which means the weather is going to be hot and humid throughout the year. It routinely sees temperatures in the 70s and 80s with just as much humidity so it may be a good idea to bite the bullet and pay for at least an air conditioner. You can also find a place that's at a higher elevation so you can avoid dealing with other issues that come along with warmer weather like the spiders, scorpions, snakes and other insects. So Humidex might be that condition in Belize that could be oppressive. It will be a bit difficult to adopt in the beginning if you are from colder regions. Number 8 no comforts of home. Yes, it's missing them. There's no large department stores, so you'll need to do your shopping at smaller shops or hop across the border to Mexico. There's also no large food supermarkets. You won't find too many sidewalks on the street either, and sometimes taxi service is even hard to find, and the police are less swift. But I think you get the point that it's less developed. Many of the common nice things living in places like the US and Canada just don't exist in Belize. It's also not as developed as other Central American countries like Mexico and Costa Rica. Services like home and auto repairs will likely not meet your expectations due to the cultural lack of urgency to get things done as well. And it may take longer to get where you're going due to its less developed infrastructure. And on top of this, you'll need to be prepared to lose your cell signal at any time as well. There might be a lag with your high internet speed as well, if it's even available. Number 7. Taxes. Now some taxes may be exempt, but you still have to pay some of them. If you work, you'll need to pay taxes at a rate of 25% if it's over an income of $10,000. But if you're a non-resident, it won't apply to you and you'll actually have to pay taxes right from the start. Transferring real estate, you'll need to pay taxes as well and you'll have to pay taxes on any properties that you own. Number 6. Island life can be busy. Life in Belize is colorful and loud and it might not be for those that want the opposite. It's known for its party culture. Your neighbors might even be awake until early morning hours listening to loud music as they continue to socialize with friends. For those that want that peace and quiet might be faced with the many festivals, parties and loud music and not just during the weekends. Even the churches have their joyful noise with their celebration of life that is different than the expectations that some retirees have. And if you want that peace and quiet it, you'll want to search for a different home. But of course there are the quieter places that has that peace and relaxation, but you need to really look for the peaceful areas and look for that right spot as well. Might take some time as well and might have already been taken. Number 5. Utilities. You'd be surprised but Belize has a higher than the cost of average rates in the US. The food and housing is reasonable, but internet access, cell phone service, gas, electricity and telephone are more expensive. And if you want that good access to the internet, then the costs are going to be significantly higher than what you pay at home. Number 4. Hurricanes are common. Now this is definitely a problematic issue. Since 1930, there have been 16 hurricanes that have struck Belize, and this doesn't include milder tropical storms that were about to become one. Half of them were major storms, making landfall or pass by close enough to cause damage, injuries and fatalities, with damages up to $100 million in agriculture and infrastructure damage. So yes, the threat of tropical storms and hurricanes is very real, along with it comes the expense 
expense of insurance to protect your property as well. Condo owners and others who own common property may also be faced with renovation bills on a regular basis. Number three, healthcare is limited. Receiving quality healthcare in Belize could be spotty. It does offer basic medical services, but any emergency care or specialized procedures is best handled by flying north to the United States, Mexico, or Canada. Medical facilities in Belize are not as advanced as the US and Mexico, but you don't want to cut corners when it comes to your care. Filling your medications requires you to carry each one of your prescriptions as well. But Belize City has the three best hospitals in the country. For simpler things, they are very good and cheap compared to the United States. But for serious treatment, you'll need to get private medical insurance for better treatment. Some expats even return to the US once in a while to see doctors there. And Belize is also a relatively small country, so it comes as no surprise that healthcare resources available to you if you retire are going to be limited. So you won't find the same variety of specialists that you would have elsewhere. And living in rural areas will have its challenges as well where even the basic treatments may not be easily available. Number two, crime in Belize. We all know that crime is everywhere, even where you're watching this vlog from. There are always going to be those few bad seeds everywhere and in every culture. But for Belize, if you check out the US State Department's Belize Travel Advisory, you'll find that Belize is actually rated high for crime and has one of the highest per capita murder rates in the world. They're mostly gang-related incidents and other criminals that use violence as a means to resolve disputes. Although it's advised to exercise caution, in most cases, if you're wise with your decision making, it won't affect you. And it's advised to stay away from the south side of Belize City in some remote areas along Belize's borders. And there are scams as well as pickpocketers and robberies as well. But living on the north side is known to be safer. Some expats build concrete walls around their homes, put burglar bars in, and have larger dogs just to be safer. Number one, expensive. Now Belize is more expensive than other Central American countries, but it's still an affordable choice for many retirees. One reason for this is the Retired Persons Incentive Act, where it offers incentives to retirees who are 45 years old or older to have proof that they bring in a monthly income generated from investments or pensions. But there's still the high cost for imported food, fuel, and household items to think about as well. High import duties up to 70% of retail value or higher on imported vehicles are there as well. There's also some resentment of wealthy foreigners and there's also increasing taxes such as the 12.5% goods and services tax GST on everything and the 5% transfer tax on real estate purchases by foreigners. And big ticketed items are not readily accessible in Belize and if you do find them the cost tends to be much higher than what you would pay for back home. Even smaller items like clothing or aspirin can be difficult to find at times as well. And this issue is due to the high import taxes that exist in Belize that are combined with limited or no domestic supplies. Now if you're able to look past all of these cons mentioned where you believe you can manage and adapt to all of them, living in Belize might be that paradise that you're looking for. It of course depends on the circumstance you're in. Belize still has that great environment with great people around that makes the experience homely. You'll be living with people who have a simpler lifestyle which could be great if you want a life of less effort just easier and more manageable renting an apartment or house for a few months to go check it out may be a great solution for you to figure it all out and yes it does require you to involve some common sense to keep away from the dangerous areas follow the advice of your home government and proactively plan for what you need and once you figure that out then you can choose one of the retirement options provided by the government to purchase is a home and enjoy an active retirement. It's a beautiful country with beautiful people and yes it does have its cons but what country doesn't? If you embrace the way of life it has to offer and adapt while keeping out of the North American lifestyle you'll come to discover that Belize with that open mind and heart will reward you with this fun nature and adventures. Well tell me what you think of living in Belize in the comment section below. If you like this vlog please don't forget to give me a like subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell for more of my coming content here. Thank you for watching my vlog, be free, gain wealth and travel far.